All right, so this feels pretty good to us, but this is the before. Much better. Hey, Venus, thanks for cutting my hair again. All right, let's get started. <laughs> That's right, so you saw in the title, Goodbye Toronto, I'm leaving. We're off to do some adventuring around the globe. You wanna turn the camera around and explain what has to happen in two years? We have to get a van. And I need to make money to make a van, get the van, which means we have to start the YouTube channel, which means we gotta start traveling, so, because they're a travel YouTube channel. <sighs> but yeah, this is it. We're leaving Toronto today. It's been a long time coming. Very excited. Very scared. I'm not really not sure what I'm supposed to be feeling. I mean, it's a whole bunch of emotions. Hey! Can you be a good girl work today, please? And can you be good until I come back? Okay, Sylvie? Do you understand? Do you understand? I'm gonna see you in two more couple of months, okay? Okay, bye babe. Bye. Have fun at work. Bye. Adios. Okay. Okay, Sylvie. You gotta be good, okay? Do you understand? Do you understand? You gotta be good. Okay? Okay, 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 okay. Do you understand? Please be good. Okay, I'll see you in a couple months, Sylvie. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Any case, I need to show some love to the girl. We gotta do some stuff and then off to the airport. Okay, so first. We gotta figure out the situation because Vancouver, there's it's winter and it's also summer at the same time. But I need to prepare for both and bring it in a carry-on, which is a huge pain in the butt. Second, I need to clean the house because Venus is gonna have guests over later tonight. Let's get going. And I have to figure out how to close this. This is a this is a prom all its own. Since I'm not gonna be here. Just testing out her computer before I go, because otherwise I'll have a million questions from Venus. When you turn the camera like this, that's not what it's supposed to sound that's like. That's called a pan. And when you like this, it's a swish pan. To the top. Backpack is ready for battle. Carrying a carry-on like this is probably not compatible with backpacking Southeast Asia, but for this Vancouver trip, it's stuck, it's stuck, oh no. No, we got it, we got it, we got it, yeah! All brush your teeth before you go for a flight. All right, here we go. <laughs> Travel day number one. really quickly I booked this Vancouver trip four months ago it was like super dirt cheap it was like $75 to fly to Vancouver I'm never gonna be able to fly to Vancouver for that amount of money ever again because in regular price in a non pandemic era it's like 800 bucks to fly to Vancouver that said I didn't realize that all of travel all over the world was gonna be opened up to travel at the same time so May is kind of like when everyone kind of just dropped all their COVID measures so what I'm trying to say is that I need to make this trip as cheap as possible. Which is why we're taking the bus and the tram instead of taking the train that goes directly to the airport because it's $3 to do this as opposed to the $15 to take the airport train. Yeah, ah. We're gonna try to make do with what we have. Okay. I haven't been on the subway in ages. Next station. Starting here, and we go all the way up, all the way across. And this, there's a bus that goes straight to Pearson Airport. Blue or yellow? Blue or yellow station? Line one. No, this is your passion, this is your talent. It will come easy. Yeah, man. Malcolm, pleasure to meet you. Of course, brother. I oh, love riding the subway with you, yeah, but I gotta sure. head out of here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Travels, Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, just meeting random people in the subway, that is what I do. <laughs> All right. Made it to the airport. That took 
An hour and 20 minutes. Welcome to my most favorite place in the whole wide world, the airport. Okay, my strategy here about the bags is that I always have a carry-on. I never go bigger than the carry-on, one. And two, I never try to let anyone measure anything. If you just act confident, it should be all okay. I honestly don't think I've ever seen the airport this busy. This is a line that just goes on forever to get through security. It goes all around the entire airport. All the way around, all the way across. And it's also back there too. I definitely think I should apply for the Nexus Pass because that took way too long. I have 20 more minutes until my flight. You know, for $12 an airport food, it doesn't look that bad. We literally got at the gate 10 minutes to spare. No time for lounges, heading straight to the plane. Ooh. Hello. Hello. All right. For $70, I got a window seat out of pure luck. And it's kind of, you no, know, it's kind of very bare bones for $70. You got this tray, very tiny. First time flying with Lynx. This is the, the third flight ever to Vancouver, so that's kind of nice. So I'm just told that there's absolutely no like amenities. There's no like peanuts or water. It's just straight up like whatever you bring on you with you is what you got, which is good because I did bring water. But oh man, five hours without water would be horrible. Jeez. Tirez sur l'extrémité libre pour serrer la ceinture. Pour libérer. Soulever la partie supérieure de la boucle. Des turbulences peuvent survenir sans avertissement. Nous suggérons que vous gardez votre ceinture. It is kind of dirty. No one cleaned this between the flights, I think. Okay, so they did serve us water on the flight, which is quite nice. Overall, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It's like pretty bare bones. I'm pretty sure they're not going to have us give us any food. So uh, we just have to survive the next five hours. Link Air. Thanks, guys. Okay, have a great night. And now we're in Vancouver. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if I missed it, but I didn't think he said thank you or what the weather is like, which is kind of weird. But okay, budget airlines. First time on a budget airline. It's fine. Let's go figure out where I need to go. All right. So two things I've learned about Vancouver in the first hour. One, the subway is stupid expensive. It's like $8. How is it $8? I don't know. Two, two, I have no energy. I'm 36. I can't run around like I'm a 20 year old. Jesus. All right, well, I'm in Vancouver now, so I'm gonna find a bed. I'll see you guys later. Sophie. It's okay. Hey. 